Stalin, Churchill, and US President Roosevelt had been struggling to reach an agreement on the date of an invasion in Western Europe. The outcome of the war and of the world would depend upon it. From the moment his country entered into the war with Germany in June 1941, the Soviet leader had been demanding the opening of a second front in the West to relieve the pressure on his troops, alone against Hitler in the East. Meanwhile, influenced by Churchill who feared attacking Germany head-on, the Anglo-Americans had vainly hoped to weaken the Axis by passing through North Africa in order to invade southern Europe via Italy. But they were stopped short near Naples and were unable to advance any closer to Germany. For a long time, Roosevelt was hesitant. He didn't think his country was ready enough for such a huge operation. But he now wanted to put an end to the Third Reich as soon as possible and to do so in the West. He also hoped to cooperate with the Soviets after the victory. Churchill could only resign himself to it. On January the 15th, 1944, having been handpicked by Roosevelt to lead the landings, Ike Eisenhower arrived in London to plan Operation Overlord. In effect, the stage is being set for the beginning of the great and crucial test all over the world. I am completely confident that the soldiers, sailors, and airmen, and all the civil populations of the United Nations will demonstrate once and for all that an aroused democracy is the most formidable fighting machine that can be devised. A few days later, Eisenhower introduced his team to the press. As an American Supreme Commander, his second needed to be British. He therefore appointed as commander of the Allied ground forces, General Montgomery, alias Monty, hero of the desert campaign in North Africa against Rommel and much loved by his compatriots. The military leaders had that plan, but it had to remain top secret. In truth, despite all this tomfoolery, the leaders had already chosen France for the landings, but Normandy rather than the Calais region. Because although the Normandy beaches were farther from Britain, they were less well defended. The invasion was planned for spring between Wistram and Carentin, at the foot of the Cotentin Peninsula. But Montgomery wanted to widen the front line to Caen so as not to get stuck in a small perimeter along the beaches. He also wanted to extend the front farther west to get closer to the deep water port of Cherbourg, which the Allies would need to seize in order to ensure the logistics of a huge army. 